Owen, thank you for contacting Wave Support. I see from your clinical request that your patient is struggling a little bit with um, comfort, and you have a couple questions about uh, power and uh, vision. So let's take a look for a moment. I see you fit this patient with a a um, center distant from the right eye and a center near on the left. So it, it looks like you're ch um, going for sort of a modified monovision approach. If we look at the right eye here, uh, first thing we notice is I suspect that this person either has a, a steep part in their cornea or they might have a little warping left from the other lenses. Uh, you probably know their history better. Uh, if it is warping maybe from um, decentering old lenses, uh, it may be helpful to have them stay out of the lens for a couple of days just to get this cornea to relax a little bit to get back to more of a true uh, fit. With that said, to fit this lens more precisely, if we look at your current lens, you'll tend to see there's uh, the landing zone if you look at this area out here. This is your traditional landing area. But you'll notice that you have a little bit of a down, what I call down turners in here, in through here you get some rubbing. Uh, you got a little bit more of alignment here, and you got some edge lift there, and you lift up a little bit more here. So it's a little inconsistent. You got a little more clearance in this area. So this will cause this lens to probably not center as well as you'd like, and and also not be quite as comfortable. So we try to do, uh, if you remember, this is the imported topography, and this is the front surface of the lens. This is the back surface of the lens. So I try to get this back surface of the lens to be more closely matched to this. So one way to do that, if you're going to continue with these uh, corneal, with these topographies, is you may have to go to almost like a uh, freeform design, since you're sort of, uh, if you look at this cornea, it's a little asymmetric. You've got a little steeper area in here and not as much in here. When you go G-SIM, you get a very nice, even lens design. This part of the lens here is going to be about the same as over here. But if you recall, it's going to make the same uh, curvature in this meridian is here, it's just the cornea is so much different, it's going to cause this lens to, to not center as well or fit quite as nicely through this area. So you almost have to go with a freeform design when you have this much steepening down below. So if you're not able to eliminate it with a clean topography, then what I'd probably do is go back over here and I uh, worked up a little sample lens. I switched over to freeform. I kept your same anchor points. Now sometimes what I'll do actually on these patients is try to set um, set the pink dot or the red dot right here. I'll try to set that somewhere in the middle of this area if I can. Um, but you know your, your placements are actually okay right here. So I went to a free form uh, design and what I did is I just used this little aspheric tool and that helps um, this lens line up very nice. And what you'll notice now is the back surface of this lens looks very similar to the front surface of the cornea. And if you look at the uh, actual lens itself here, you've got a very even profile and you've really evened out this landing zone all the way around the lens. So this should, in theory, create a lens that's a little bit more uh, aligned properly in that cornea. Now another comment, I noticed you also used uh, axial design. If, if you recall, axial tends to look very closely at the central part of the cornea and not represent the peripheral part as accurately. If you switch over to tangential, you tend to get a little bit better alignment in the outer areas, and it's not as precise in the central part. But the net effect is tangential lenses tend to fit about a half diopter flatter in general. So if you had some... Um, Trouble with lenses fitting steeply, or if you got lens awareness issues, uh, it's if you want to get a nice alignment to this peripheral area and flatten the lens out a little bit, I like to switch over tan to tangential, and that usually solves a lot of those issues. And so I think that means it's um, a nice improvement on that lens. Uh, same thing over on the other side. If you look at the left lens, uh, I think this one you said was uh, fitting a little bit more nicely. You got a little more edge clearance in through here, but you still have some uneven areas of. Um, touch and the more edge lift here. So again, if we go try to uh, get this back surface to match this a little bit more, I went to, again, a uh, freeform design uh, because of this is uh, so decentered, this uh, elevates area. And now you got a, a look of a lens that's a little bit more evenly aligned. And I think this lens will probably be a little bit more uh, consistent in performance because it'll be sent, I think it'll center a little bit better for you. Now I noticed this is the eye with the uh, uh, also, you'll notice I went to a tangential on this one. Um, as far as the pupil size here, you've got, I notice you're with the center near. So this eye is, for the most part, a near lens. And one thing you may do, I'm hoping that once you get these things centering nice consistently, it may help out with the vision a little bit. But you may actually just go a little bit larger on this area. Keep in mind that over-fraction, that minus over-fraction on this left eye is probably because you're looking through mostly this 
uh, reading zone, the center part of the lens. But uh, if you want to get more reading out of it, uh, 225, I don't know the age on this patient, is probably reasonable at. Um, needing a diopter and a quarter or more suggests that you're just not getting enough reading out of it. So I'd be inclined to say try to get this, the uh, reading zone a little bit larger, maybe bring it up to more of the pupil size or so. Uh, and if you can get this lens to center a little bit better, you may get a little bit more uh, uh, boost out of that effect anyway. So uh, with that said, I think those little subtle adjustments may help out uh, with this lens performance. Well, I wish you well. Thanks for contacting Ray Support and have a great day.